Welcome back to WTL 11 Your Day. We just heard from Mary, a retired auto worker, how she has dealt with the uneasiness and stress of the past year. Dr. Jeannie Clarkson is a psychologist with Christian Care Connection. Uh, were Mary's reactions, were they unconscious and physical, unusual? I, I think probably not, right? You know, I, I find that common in the people that I talk with, this feeling of not being able to get out, especially because it's been so long, this constant stress and then having to deal with whatever stresses are already going on. Some people are dealing with chronic health problems, with um, family members being ill and needing to take care of them, and then not being able to be connected to your usual support system can really leave people feeling isolated and overwhelmed. Yeah, and I think this could be a new feeling for people as well. Some people may not um, have experience with, with mental illness or mental health issues, and this could be a first for them. So how can people identify if they're feeling anxiety or stress? Right. Well, I think Mary gave a really good description of, you know, not being able to sleep, waking up. Some people may not, may still be able to sleep, but they just sleep even more. Um, but this feeling of anxiety she was experiencing, and we all experiencing a little bit different, but you will notice the changes, feeling more irritable, feeling more down, having dark thoughts, what's the point, noticing that you're not motivated to do things you used to do and used to love to do. Those are all signs that the stress is really getting to you. Plus stress, you know, can in even increase or intensify the experience of pain for those that are dealing with chronic pain and other illnesses. Sure, absolutely. It really it could be a trigger for some people who have some of those uh, chronic illnesses as well. So how can we work through this? You have some pointers for us this morning. I do. The first one is, uh, I have four things, four tips. The first one is stay as active as you can. Um, you have to be careful, like Mary was saying, but whatever you like to do she enjoyed bike riding physical exercise is really important it's the thing that we don't feel like doing when we're stressed or depressed uh, but it really is important even getting out for a little walk or getting out on your patio stay as active as you can do hobbies whatever you enjoy the second would be stay as connected as you can you know people have had to give up their getting together with friends, grandkids, places of worship or workout groups. Uh, and that's been really hard. So I would encourage you to stay as connected as you can, even if it means connecting online. Um, and But look for those opportunities of outdoor groups. The third would be stay as positive as you can. I really love that Mary said, I had to tell myself it's gonna be okay you're gonna get through this, it's gonna be okay. So she kept repeating the positives to herself. And when we're going through stress, that is so important. And sometimes what I recommend is that people actually need to reduce their consumption of news because if you have so much negative coming in, that's gonna be reduce your ability to be positive. Either that or you can also do something about it, write a legislator. Because when you listen to a lot of negativity, but yet you don't do anything, you feel more powerless and helpless. So right. stay as, as um, active as you can, as connected as you can, as positive as you can. And then uh, fourthly, uh, reach out for those wonderful resources that you're providing for everybody. Uh, these days there's support groups online. If you don't know how to do that, you can ask a young person uh, <laughs> or, or call one of these resources um, and reach out for whatever resources you need and know that we will get through this. Yes, and you're not alone and there is help available and um, I love those pointers. So those are really great things to keep in mind uh, to get us from day to day. You know, take it one day at a time and just, you know, uh, try, to, try to take in the positivity as much as you can. Dr. Clarkson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Amanda. Take care.